Hi guys, Pete Finch here, joined by the wonderful Andy Gorman down at your studio here at Wishaw Golf Club and super exciting times. We're on to the drills now. There's lots of videos which have kind of been recorded here at the studio. I hope you've been enjoying them so far. And now we're going to move on to specific drills that you can work on to help improve your game. And this drill is pre-round to yeah. get you ready for the actual round as well. Absolutely. So yeah. this is something you've adapted off Tour Pros. <laughs> it is, yeah. Actually, it's quite, it's quite funny because you'll see this set up um, fairly regular. Players yeah. will start off and they'll measure a putter length and then tee peg and then another putter length, etc. And uh, actually, Johan Hedfors and Peter Heblum were having a. This is great because you can pair this up. But, Have you know, a we'll, battle. Do, we'll do the name drop. <laughs> um, we might do a Peter Finch Andy Gorman drop in a minute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, um, I watched them at the at Castle Stewart a few years ago now, the Scottish Open. and. They started off fairly close and basically all they were trying to do was hold a putt yeah. and hold one putt from, uh, I believe they have three or four balls each to do it from. And if you're pairing up, you can have as many golf balls as you like. I tend to start this drill though with just one, uh, so one or two sleeves of golf balls, so three or six putts. Okay. Because most of the time, we've, that's what we got in the back. That's what we got in the back, yeah. So, you know, and then basically these guys just kept going and going and going. And before we knew it, they were what looked like 30, 40 yards away. And in fact, they'd measured it and, you know, 107, 108 yards, I think it was. 108 feet, sorry. <laughs> so 108 yeah. feet would be... 108 <laughs> feet, they were away and I can't remember which one hold it. Um, uh, you know, and that's genuine. I can't remember which one hold it. And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they will be able to remember they, very vividly. I'm sure, yeah. I did, I did see a big wallet come out. Um, <laughs> But essentially, it was, it was a bit of fun. It was practice day, so it wasn't pre-round. But, um, you know, they got into the spirit of competing mm -hmm. against each other, which is obviously, you know, part of what we do. But it really got them into focusing their aim. Their, they had, I know they also had a golf club behind so that they couldn't hit it more than one putter length past the hole. So it was really working hard on their skills of uh, distance control as well. And the break was pretty... Pretty level. I mean, there wasn't okay. a huge. Was it a massive kind of slope? Well, over, like. You know, given you know that <laughs> they were over a hundred feet. You know, there was probably you know three or four feet of break even on a flat putt. Right. Was, you know, that would be you'd expect that. So. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Well, talk talk us through it then. What have we well, What have we start, got? So we start with six golf balls, two sleeves of three, and basically what we're doing is converting any one of these balls from the six into the hole. So okay. we would reasonably assume that from three feet, I've got a 35 inch putter, and if we go from the toe to the hip, uh, to the top of the club, that'll be 36. So just basically drop the putter into the hole if you're on the green, and away you go, and then just extend it back. All the way back, yeah. You can go back as far as you like, but you know, eight to 10. Yeah. Stop, at, stop at the clubhouse. Stop at the yeah, don't go into the bar. Yeah, fall off the green. <laughs> well, of course, unless you're at Castle Stewart, it's a big green. <laughs> So basically what we're doing from here is just looking to hole a putt. So we're getting used to holding putts, but as we extend, we're also gaining in our pace control as well. What we wouldn't want to do is to go more than a putter length back, but actually to, to add to the test, maybe just make it a grip length. A little bit shorter, yeah. Hole. So the idea is let's just hole one. So see how far we can go. So we'll take the centre of the hole and then we just move all the balls back to the next station. So this is quite straightforward. I'd recommend you go into your routine. There's a tiny little bit of break on this putt, so as you can see from the right hand side, we're on a 2% slope. So we start to look at the aim factors as well. You're expecting me to hold some of these. Now, oh, we're, we're, we're on a roll here, yeah. I'm getting excited here. Yeah, so at 12 feet, we're already starting to get into tour player averages around 25% conversion. So, you know, we really shouldn't be holding more than one in four unless we're really good at it. Of course, I've been yeah. practicing on the green, <laughs> so I do know what it is. But again, you know, you can practice this uphill, downhill, left to right, right to left and vary it. So five putter lengths now. Oh, looking good. Oh, yeah, eh? Hey? Not, hey, not bad at all. Better than the last video. <laughs> See, I'm positive about this. I'm going to get all these in. Looks good again. Oh, hello. Let, let, let's, for argument's sake, because I think, I think we're almost going off camera here. Let's, for argument's sake, say you missed that one, as unbelievable as that would be. I know. 
What what would we do at that point at when that you missed that one? Essentially, I've hold first putt of every one, which we'll come to the next drill. Um, mm -hmm. But essentially, what we, if I missed it, I've still got five more putts. And yeah. we might find that in the first instance, and this is where it's really good, in the very first instance, we might, we might only get to here. And of yeah. course, we have got a nice smooth surface in here because it's artificial. And you may be playing on some holotine greens at the moment. There's a little bit of seeding going on. It's early in the season. If you get into the summer, it might be hard and crusty in certain places. It may not be rolling quite as smooth. But essentially, if you miss a putt, then you've got five more yeah, putts so, that'll be going so, on. So at this point in this drill, you've already, you obviously had missed any, so you still have the remainder of your balls, balls to actually go. In time. And at this point, for me then, how far can I go? I'm starting to get excited, but I've got to stop. <laughs> um, how far can I go? You know, and this is when putting becomes fun. Practice putting can be really tedious because, you know, it's not a very big hole. Let's go and find some bigger slopes then. Let's see if, how we can get on and find out what our weaknesses are when we are on those greens. So if we're struggling with left to right putts, if we're struggling with right to left, we can turn this around and put towards uh, the, e the exit entrance, um, but we can put back towards the camera and actually we've got left to right, but maybe I'm not so good at left to right putts. Make us where you're at. As we saw on the other video. Yeah. <laughs> right, that, that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's such a... Such a simple drill, such a simple kind of idea. I love the fact that it's not just kind of hit one putt, hold it, if you miss it, move on to the next one. You, you're bringing those putts back and you yeah. kind of, that's, it's such a good way to and do if it you that log way. It, you know, and this is a really good thing, if you log it and start to see that, you know, actually, you know, at a certain point in time, things weren't going so well, or I turned a corner and things were working so well, then you've got reference points to go back to. To actually what you're doing now, yeah. And if this is just too easy, because, you know, we don't need, Two sleeves, and four. so just have one, and see how far you can go with three. With three balls, yeah. So you can up the ante if you scratch golfer. Maybe you should be using just one sleeve, and if you're a weekend warrior, then maybe two sleeves of golf balls to get started. So awesome. Give you something to work on. That's fantastic, Andy. Thank you so so much. Pleasure. Really well done as well. No, I was, was well, eh? getting the camera outside to carry on doing this. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, comment below, let us know what you think as well. Uh, follow Andy in the description below, all his kind of social links are there as well. Uh, really worthwhile to do and obviously you can find out more information about this fantastic studio down here. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Probably another drill. <laughs>